Can you hear me? Yeah. So how does this work? The same as usual, except it's online. Why can't it be like it was? Orders from the boss. I'll leave the Anna across now. And you'll still be able to hear us? Yeah, and after half an hour, the call will end automatically. Hi. Can you hear us? I believe so. You look tired. Yeah, well, they moved someone into the cell next door. It makes a hell of a lot of noise and it's keeping me up at night. Can you get a room? I've tried. Have you heard from Alex? No. I'll see how he is. You know I write to them, but uh, I've lost my daily call privilege. Why? I got into a fight with the kitchen staff. They said we were having chilli. It wasn't chilli. What was it? Soup. Chicken soup. But you like chicken soup? That's not the point. I want to see her. We've talked about this. No, you told me to think about it. Well, I thought about it, and I want to see her. Why? That's between me and her. What if she doesn't want to see you? She will. I don't have an issue with you seeing her, but you're contacting her yourself. How's the job? Fine. Everyone being friendly? Do we have to go through the small talk? Your mother told me not to bring up certain things. What things? She gave me a list. A list? If she's so worried, she should just call me herself. She does. I'm not keeping the job. Why not? It's not working for me anymore. What are you going to do for money? I'll get a different job, a better job. Just like that? Yeah, was, was there a reason for this call? I'm, I'm just checking in. I'm busy. Can you check in later? What's keeping you so busy? Dad, I'm an adult. I know that. I don't have to tell you everything. That's not what I'm asking you for. I'm okay. I'm fine, really. That's all I'm asking. Tell mom to give me a break. If she'll listen. Okay, I've got to go. Bye. Absolutely not. He won't stop asking. Did you tell him I don't want to talk to him? He'll break his heart. What makes you still think he has a heart? You don't mean that. I don't want anything to say to him. Then tell him that. He won't accept it until he hears it from you. You think he's going to get out soon? Maybe. He wouldn't be asking if you hadn't promised him you'd visit. No, I never promised. Talk to him, Alex.
Don't go. They'll keep sending letters. Ignore them. Burn them. If I go, maybe that will stop them. Do you want to see him? I don't know. <laughs> Did you just say you don't know? I'm curious. What else is there to hear from him? There has to be a reason why he wants to see me. I'm not comfortable with it. I'm sorry you're not comfortable with it, but it isn't about you. In fact, it's got nothing to deal with you. If it affects you, then it affects me. That's sweet. Look, I've booked a flight, okay? Don't come back early. You don't want me to come home? I've got a lot going on. Well, I want to be there. Just don't see him, please. I got to get ready for work, Matt. Say, how are they treating you like in there? Fine. That's good. What do you want? Oh, that's no way to treat an old friend. Friend? Well, I wouldn't be here otherwise. I'm in here because of you. I never touched that girl. I never made you do nothing. You pointed her out to me. You told me to put that in a drink. You fancied her. The only person you should be blaming for being in there is yourself. What do you want? I think I could know a way on how to get you out of there. Oh, no, I am not interested. Well, wait, wait, hear me out. Just think, with all the dirt I have on you, you hardly have a choice. I could hang up. You could. You do know they're listening in on this conversation. No, they're not. <laughs> I paid them up. <laughs> Guards are way easy to manipulate. Okay, what's the plan? We get the girl to change the story. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Well, you get her to say that she initiated the whole thing. You never drugged her or did nothing to her. The only real victim here is you. She'll never do it. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever write any letters to her? Yeah. Well, I know where she lives. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Leave her alone. You owe me a whole lot of money. You remember that? Mm -hmm. You being in there is ruining business for me. Well, that sounds like a you problem. Work. I am not making her lie for your convenience. Think it over, all right? Just for me. She stopped taking my calls, Leon. I don't think she wants to speak with you. Why not? She doesn't want to speak with anyone. How does she seem? Tired. No. Being at home alone isn't good for her. She needs to get her independence back. But how can she work at a bar after what happened? The bar was not the problem. Because you are always so calm about everything. <laughs> You've always been manic enough for the both of us, Wilma. Seriously. You need to come here and visit her. We need to come up with some sort of action plan. We can both go over there and try to get through to her. Well, do you think she'll listen? She'll listen to you. You know, I could kill him for taking our daughter away from us. I know. 
I mean, for changing her, for making her doubt herself. I suppose it's our job to pick her back up. Yeah. Okay, I'll book a flight for tomorrow. How does she really seem? Fine, really. Oh God, I can't sleep for worrying about her. I know the feeling. So, how does this work? Well, I'll go and Jean will come on. It's just like a typical visit would be. I've never done this before. You don't have to go ahead if you're not comfortable. I'll, I'll talk with him. So, uh, before we go ahead, is there anything else you want to ask me? What if I want to end the conversation? You just hang up. Okay. I'll be able to hear you both the entire time. Okay. You ready then? Yes. Thank you for agreeing to see me. This is strange. I think it'd be stranger if we were face to face. Uh, hi. Hi. So he keeps sending me letters. Yeah. What's so important? I wanted to see if we could somehow resolve this. Resolve? Yeah, well, I don't really like how we left things. We left things with you in prison where you belong. Yeah. It took a lot for me to talk to you. I'm being asked to throw you under the bus. By who? My old boss. What'd you say? I'm not going to do that to you. You don't owe me anything. I know that. How are you? I'm fine. I'm working a lot. Oh? Where? At a bar. Which bar? You won't know it. I'm leaving soon anyways. I don't like it. I don't expect you to forgive me for what I did. Good. I don't want what I did to have any sort of hold over you. It doesn't. Believe it or not, Jean, you're not so important. So you've forgotten? No. You've moved past it. I'm... Moving past it. I want you to be happy. Now, I've, do I've done this. Uh, can you please stop sending the letters? If that's what you want. That's what I want. Thank you for doing this. Take care of yourself, Jean. You too, Sophie. A 
I told her not to go. I don't understand why she would want to talk to him. Me neither. Did she tell you how it went? She doesn't tell me anything anymore. She seems different. Different? She talks to herself a lot. I don't always catch what she's saying, but last night after she spoke to him, it sounded like she was making some sort of list. A list of what? Sounded like things she wished she'd done differently. I don't know what it was about, but she keeps doing stuff like that. She said to me she doesn't like herself as much as she used to. But why? I don't know. She was so open before the incident, and now it's like she just uses every opportunity to close herself off from me, from you guys. It's like all she does is work and sleep. Maybe we can get her some help. A therapist. She'd never agree to it. Well, we have to do something. I think she sees what happened as like a two-way street. He's locked up, but she's still left to deal with what she thought she did. It's not fair. How tall are you now? I haven't grown. Are you still living in London? That's right. I work there. In editing? Yep, that's right. Did you get my card? Yep. 23. How did that happen? Happens every year. Oh, come on, Alex. Look. The only reason I agreed to talk to you today is to tell you I don't want to talk to you. Oh, this is going to be a short visit then. I'm applying to have my surname legally changed. What? Why? Because I don't want people to associate me with you. Okay. I understand that. What you did, it, it was unforgivable. I'm not asking you to forgive me. Why did you do it? It's complicated, Alex. Just take your time then. Well, I go to that bar more and more because, well, Anna and I were having problems. And that's why you met Sophie? We started talking. She fancied her. Yeah, well, she made it pretty clear she fancied me too. So what made you beat her up? That's the complicated part. I have time. Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to tell you. Mm. How are we supposed to have any sort of relationship if you're not going to be honest with me? I am being honest. Have you beaten up women before? No. So what made her so special? Oh, I am not a bad person, Alex. Right, because good people do what you did. You're not going to understand, even if I tell you. I don't want you to contact me again. If that's what you want. It is. All right, then. You know, I could get him out, Anna. If he's already said no, I don't know what else there is to talk about. Do you want him to come out? He's not ready. Do you know it amazes me that you're still supporting him? Hmm? I wonder how much you loved him to stand by him after what he's done. He's my fiancé. You're either very loyal or very stupid. You're okay with what he did? No. No, I think you hate it. And you hate him for it, deep down. What 
game are you trying to play here? I have men who rely on me to deliver a service. Your fiance, being behind bars, doesn't allow me to do for them what I want to. I don't care whatever deal you have with you. It's none of my business. We chained down. It's all of your business. He signed a contract. If Jane goes down, his next of kin takes his place. That's you, my dear. I'm not doing anything for you. You sound like you have a choice. The man you love signed a contract, knowing that this could happen. But if you say no, well, I will huff, and I will puff, and I will blow your fucking house down. Part of me feels sorry for him. That's insane. I feel responsible. Why? Because I let him on. You were drugged. Not every time. He coerced you. I know it's hard for you to accept that I played a part in it, but I did. When are you going to stop thinking about him? It's not that easy. I hear you talking to yourself. You're different now. Trauma changes people. Well, you don't talk to me about any of it. Because it's not going to change how I feel. After everything he did, there's still a part of you that cares about him. Yes. I can't help it. Try harder! It's not fair for you to keep dealing with this. You've been good to me. Is this a breakup? No. But maybe a break would be good for us. Give me a chance to see what will help me. I'm coming home next week. Maybe don't come home. Leave her alone. I'm just doing my job. Anna has nothing to do with our contract. Uh, technically, she does. I'm asking you to leave her out of this. Okay, you want her out of it? Then you better find me a better offer. Like what? Well, I know I'm open to ideas. I'll get you the money. And how the hell are you going to do that? I've made connections in here. Give me a week. One week. Sophie, pick up the phone. Sophie, it's me. I just want to talk to you. Can you please pick up the phone? Tell me that you're okay. I don't think you should be here by yourself. Are you a liar? I don't want you to be alone. Sophie, please, please pick up the phone. I can't find a logical way to explain what I'm feeling. Just tell me what you're feeling. Ever heard of Stockholm Syndrome? Yeah. I think I might have that. Okay. Did you drug me that night? <sighs> yeah. Why? It makes, I don't know, I've done it before. It makes things easier. Women are more compliant. 
I would have gone with you anyways. I wasn't sure that you would. I wasn't in my right mind. You were high. Yeah, well, I was drunk. You thought I was making fun of you. Well, I don't take too kindly to being laughed at. I wasn't laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, and I know that now. My grip still isn't right. They think I have nerve damage. Things are harder than they were. I really wish I could take it back. I know. Can't believe I'm just sat here so calm. I must be mad. <sighs> Is it mad of me to ask a favour of you? Depends on the favour. <sighs> I need to move some money around. I owe a dangerous man a lot of money. And if I don't get it to him, he's going to make the people I love do his jobs for him. I can't let that happen. I, I don't think I can help you with that, Jean. I think, I think he might hurt my son. By who? He's a man I work for. But why would he want to do that? Because he's a psychopath. Can you give me a minute? Tell me what you need. 